Yes, sir. How are you? Good, good. How is uh, practice out there? Uh, it was a good day of practice, you know, just uh, getting out there to start, you know, um, just being out there with the boys again and just getting ready to, you know, play another big game. Is one is Wednesday kind of the heavy day, uh, more contact and in preparation for the game? Uh, and so Tuesday, Tuesday's more of the full pads, and then Wednesday, uh, we kind of kind of do the shelves. But it's just um, even though like the the pads that we're wearing it may go down, like the intensity still the same. Absolutely. Um, maybe just wrap up on uh, the coastal game. It seemed like uh, you guys were out on the field on defense a long time, seventy plays. And it took a bit of a toll at the end. Uh, what was your assessment of on, on, la on last week's game? Uh, I mean, just biggest thing is uh, we just didn't we didn't follow the plan, our team plan um, that we have. And um, you know, losing is one of those things where uh, you can kind of just see what you need to work on and see what you can get better at. And uh, we've all done that. We've all watched the tape. We watched the film, and we're just trying to you know put our best foot forward going into. Uh, UTSA uh, next this weekend. Sal, you got a question? No? Okay. Hey, Kabina. Uh, how are you? Good, sir. How are you doing? Good. Um, can you talk a little bit about getting another chance to kind of have a home opener for, you know, home opener for yourself in your career and getting that one last uh, first uh, home game at Mikey Stadium? Yeah, you know, playing in Mikey is just a, it's a real, like, special feeling. Um, just being in playing in that stadium, just knowing some of the greats that have, you know, just graced that field. It's always just a very humbling experience. And, you know, um, we just we just we just love playing in Mikey. We love playing home and we're just excited to get after it this weekend. Do you have any pregame uh, routines or rituals that you go through um, maybe specifically at home or now? Um no, I try to I try to keep it the same whether I'm home or away. Um, kind of superstitious about that, so I kind of just keep everything that I do the same. I don't try to change it up regardless of where I'm at. Appreciate it. Hello, Bonzo. This is Charles Reeves with GoBlackNights.com. Good afternoon slash evening. How are you doing? I'm doing good, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. Although you guys are, you know, only uh, 0 and 1, there still seems to be a vibe, at least from the you know, Army football fan base that Saturday's game against the Roadrunners uh, is a must-win game for the Black Knights. What's your take on that particular mindset? Uh, I feel like every game that uh, any team plays is a is a must-win game, you know. And um, same thing, we're just going to take this week. We're gonna we're gonna learn from the film from of last week. Uh, just build on that. Put our best foot forward and just try to um, build up on that and just uh, put our best foot forward. Got you in. And as one of the elder statesmen for the, for this team, uh, what have you said or what have you done to help you know get the defense and our team in general focus on the task at hand, which of course is Saturday's game? Uh, biggest thing is that you just have to have a, a short term memory. You know, um, take what you can from the game of last week. Take what you can. Um, see what you can do better. And then just start putting that towards uh, just building yourself up again. Uh, that's the biggest thing I've been trying to preach to the guys on defense, the guys in my position position group. Just, um, just, just learning from the experience and just moving forward from it. And and just you know building off of what you just stated up front, what must you guys do specifically to slow down the road runners? Uh, you know I've I've said this in almost every interview that I've done, but. The game is one up front in the trenches, and it's really just um, based off what side of the ball gets to push. So um, our, our game, our focus going into the game, you know, stop the run, stop the pass, and just try to be uh, as aggressive, be very aggressive at the point of contact on the line of scrimmage. Fantastic. Hey, best of luck to you on Saturday. Thank you, sir. I think you're good. Good. <clears throat> I didn't know you were listening. Go on. Next up, we'll have Coach Woody. Hey, what's up, fellas? Uh, good afternoon, Coach Woody. Charles Greaves here with GoBlackKnights.com. How are you doing? Good. All right. Um, can you walk us through uh, today's practice relative to, to the defensive side of the ball? <clears throat> Did a good job of uh, coming out and, and, uh, and getting better, I thought. 
you know, we look at, uh, uh, at the last ball game and, and what you want to do after, uh, after any ball game is, is gather as much information as you can, use it to, uh, to come out and get better. And if, uh, if you do that every week, then, uh, then you're, you're, you're traveling in the right direction. So, uh, so I think guys uh, came out uh, you know, today and, and uh, you know, performed well. I thought, uh, thought they got after it really good. Do we need to make, uh, you know, do we need to get better? Yes. And, and each rep that, that we take, we're, uh, we're working on it as, as good as we can. And um, uh, we'll continue to do that. And as, uh, as we get more reps in practice and in games, we'll, uh, we'll continue to get better because this is a team that, that uh, uh, it's important to. You know, it's, not, uh, it's not one of those deals where uh, they come out and just go through the motions. They do it with a lot, a lot, a lot of effort and, and uh, uh, emotion and they care for one another. And uh, uh, so I liked, uh, I liked the way practice went today. Fantastic. And, and to some degree, or at least uh, from an athletic point of view and even their offensive line, offensively speaking, the Roadrunners are similar to Coastal Carolina from my perspective. Uh, what must you get out of the D-line, your D-line, in order to be competitive on Saturday? And can you share with us uh, you know, who uh, you expect to kind of be your, your one or two deep, if you will? I'm not sure that uh, I don't know if the offensive line is 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 like coastal as far as what uh, what they do and and uh, and how well they do it. I think I think coastal is is got uh, uh, you know some guys that that uh, you know understand option principles and, and and play with that a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I, I think I think a little bit a little bit of zone and and uh, gap scheme is is what we'll see out of out of uh, uh, you know, UTSA, but in the passing game, you know, I, I think you'll, I think you're going to see a, a whole lot of uh, receiver screens and, and, and then you'll see a, a lot of balls thrown down the field. And, uh, uh, you know, there weren't a ton of balls thrown way down the field in our last ball game. So from a pass, uh, you know, a pass rush standpoint, you got an opportunity to get to the quarterback. And the last time we played them, you know, we got to the quarterback, but he did a great job of scrambling and, and avoiding the rush and, and getting some uh, some yards from a scramble situation. So that's got to be something that, uh, you know, still got to get to the quarterback, still got to get him uncomfortable. But we got to do a better job of, of uh, you know, containing him and keeping him, uh, you know, from getting the extra yards on a play. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Sure. Hey, hey coach. coach, how are you? Good. How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, can you, um, how would you evaluate Andre Carter's game against Coastal Carolina and um, how they were uh, blocking him, so to speak? Well, I don't know that they really ran at uh, at Andre, you know, a whole lot. I think uh, early in the ball game, he did a really nice job of, of uh, you know, affecting a pass, you know, to the sideline, you know, somewhat and, and uh and I thought, you know, as the game uh, as the game wore on, you know, he did a really nice job of of playing within himself, and uh, and when he had his opportunities to rush the passer, which wasn't very much, you know, wasn't uh, wasn't much at all, but uh, when he did, I thought uh, I thought he performed well. You know? um, not all the time are, are you going to get uh, you know a sack or, or multiple sacks in ball games. And I think Coastal does a good job of, of uh, you know, running the football and, and then doing some things from a max protection. Um, and then there was, you know, not many opportunities where he got a one-on-one -on -one against a, uh, a lineman and the ball wasn't coming out fast. So I, yeah. liked, uh, I liked what he did. I liked how he performed. Uh, one question about uh, the nose tackle position. Did anybody separate themselves in the first game, or do you anticipate going with more of a rotation against uh, Texas San Antonio? I think we'll continue to, to rotate, guys, but um, but I, I really liked uh, Darius Richardson in, in the ball game. I thought uh, I thought he stepped up and, and did some things in, in that ball game that that uh, uh, you know showed why he was uh, uh, you know in the two deep for us uh, last season. So really liked uh, liked him, and you know, I still got uh, you know, a guy that, that we didn't get into the ball game that that eventually we will. Jacob Teodi, uh, just a, a 
he continues to impress me in, in practice, but uh, but still, you know, still learning the position just a little bit. But he's got an awful lot of promise. And then Isaiah Felici, you know, probably got more uh, snaps than uh, than he's had, you know, the whole the whole time he's been uh, been here, you know, in that one game. Um, you know, and we just uh, we'll, we'll continue to rotate. You know, I think uh, Komarowski did some good things in that game, and and some things that uh, that he could have done just a little bit better. So we'll uh, we'll be all right. Thanks. Sure. Hey, Coach Ken Kreitzer with Cam Vets Media. Good to see you. Uh, just on uh, Saturday's game, uh, you had to face a lot of running plays, 53, gave up 263 in yardage. Uh, how did you feel your inside linebackers did? Uh, some some young players, Lee 11 out of 11 tackles. Uh, how did you feel like your, your inside linebackers, inside defense uh, held up? Well, if we gave up 263 yards, we probably didn't hold up very well. But I don't, I don't, I don't know that you can say it was, uh, you know, just the linebackers or, or just the defensive line or, or, or whether it was the outside linebackers or whether it was the safety that was supposed to fit. There's a lot of different uh, components on each play that have to go right. And uh, you know, one time it, it, it might have been a, a, you know, an interior lineman. You know, the next time it might have been an inside backer. The time I, you know, and then the next play it might be an outside linebacker. The next time it might be a safety. So, uh, you know, all those guys have got to do their job when it when it comes time. And uh, and then also you, you know, I, I got to do a little bit better job of helping them and, and giving them some uh, some defensive calls that uh, that they can execute a little bit better. So, I think, uh, you know, like I said, today's practice looked uh, like looked pretty good, but. Coastal Carolina was a uh, was a team that that uh, you know they averaged an awful lot of points and uh, usually I think last year they probably averaged uh, without looking at it you know probably close to 500 yards of offense so um, I'm not happy about uh, about losing that ball game I'm not happy about uh, giving up the yardage that we did or the scores that we did but if you go back and and piece this together we had opportunities. You know, to uh, to win this ball game, and you know, just uh, you know, didn't quite make a play here or there, and sometimes the uh, uh, you know just uh, just went against us, and and um, we'll have to do a little bit better next time. But that was a, that was a quality quality opponent. And looking at Texas San Antonio, uh, I guess you got to start with a very experienced quarterback and Frank Harris had a big game against Houston. Uh, 28 of 43, 337 yards, three touchdowns. He even ran for one touchdown. What are your thoughts on Frank Harris? He's faced Army before. Yeah, uh, Frank came in in the fourth quarter against us the last time we played him, and I thought uh, I thought we might see him. You know, the the uh, in 20, I thought we'd see him earlier than we did, but uh, but when he did come in, he he was uh, uh, you know. He's just a guy that that that, that moves fast and, and can throw the football. He can throw with some accuracy. Uh, he can throw the short one. He can throw the long one. And uh, and when things break down, he can uh, he can take it a long way with it. He's he's explosive. So this will be the second uh, second game in a row where we play a quarterback that that I have an awful lot of respect for. But uh, you know, I, I I've got respect for uh, for our players as well. And we're looking forward to uh, to going against him. You're right; he's got a lot of experience. You know, he's been he's been around there for a long time. Maybe uh, what is it, six years? You know. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's I don't think we got anybody here that, uh, that that's been here for six years. You know, that, at least that plays. You know, in a uniform. So, um, but uh, but he still moves good. He moves really good. So, I'm looking forward to the opportunity, and our players are as well. Uh, their offensive line really stands out for their size. Uh, the center, 325, uh, right guard, 335. Haynes, the left guard, 340. Left tackle, Tatafu, is 335. That's like a Big Ten-sized offensive line. How do, you, how do you deal with that? Well, I think just because you're big doesn't make you good. And uh, you may be long and, and have a lot of weight, but if you don't move your feet, uh, then – then a pass rush is is uh, I mean it's easy to win, um, yeah. And then I think uh, uh, the last time that we played against them, I think they had some guys that that uh, uh, that we're going to see again. Yeah, but but maybe they were uh, you know 
a little bit more inexperienced the last time we played them. And, uh, and we still thought got some pressure on the quarterback at times. It's just uh, once we did get to the quarterback, he was able to elude us and, and, uh, and scramble for, uh, for a lot of yards. And, uh, you know, so the size, you know, the size of the offensive lineman, you know, is uh, as good as far as the, the, the power rush. But, uh, but the finesse part of it is, is, is something that, uh, you know, may work, the size may work against them a little bit. And on their chart, they look, they look like a spread offense team with three wide receivers, just one running back, and they list a big fullback, uh, Cardenas, uh, 285. Um, they pass, they're passing over 300 yards a game, only about a, a little over 100 yards rushing. Uh, how do you, what is it like preparing for a spread pass-oriented offense? Well, nowadays, I don't, I don't think, uh, you know, when I first started my career as a coach, 300 yard uh, passing games would get you fired, you know? Um, now it's, it's so common, you know, that's teams are throwing it, uh, you know, 45, 50 times a game, you know, every game. And, and, uh, and a lot of those passes may be screens that, uh, that, that travel, you know, from, you know, no more than uh, three or four yards past the line of scrimmage or sometimes behind the line of scrimmage. So easy to, to, uh, to complete those balls, but if they don't, uh, if they don't go very far down the field, then uh, then you give yourself a chance to win. So just uh, staying on top of uh, you know those routes and uh, and then doing a good job of of tackling and pursuit, I think will, will give us a uh, you know really good opportunity to win. Thanks, Coach. Sure. All right. Thanks. Next up, we have uh, Calvin Crummy, guys. Hey, Calvin, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, first, uh, tell us a little bit how your practice was uh, today. Um, it was a very good practice today. Uh, we were just focusing on the fundamentals, uh, trying to get the little things corrected from last week and then get um, get started on this week's game plan. And, just get everything, all the kinks knocked out and get ready for um, Saturday. Absolutely. Now, maybe uh, give us a little bit of assessment uh, of the game Saturday against uh, Coastal. Uh, uh, you guys had to face a lot of running plays, a lot of plays overall, 70 offensive plays that Coastal ran. Uh, your offense was scoring too quickly, actually. Uh, what was your overall thought about the game Saturday? Um, I think we didn't play our best, but they were a very good team, very old coach, uh, very disciplined, uh, physical. And we're just looking forward to the next opponent, the next game. We get to um, get to go out there and show our, um, how good we are. Very good. And just a little bit about uh, Texas San Antonio. We're talking with Coach Woody about they got a experienced quarterback and uh, Frank Harris likes to throw the ball, and they got a big offensive line. What what are some of the challenges you see in the uh, Texas San Antonio team offense? 
Um, they're very big, very physical. Um, we just got to bring our hands, bring our feet, uh, be physical with them, match your physicality, um, and just play our um, player game. Very good. Thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, Kelvin. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, did you play last year at Mikey Stadium, or will this be your first game at Mikey Stadium? Uh, this will be my first game at Mikey Stadium. Do you have any thoughts about that, about getting a chance to – I mean, yeah, you played scrimmages at Mikey, right? But this will yes, be your first live game. Do you have any thoughts about that and the anticipation for that? Um, it's just uh, go out there and defend our stadium. We've lost, I think, only like three times in the last few years, and uh, that's what we continue to uh, try to do is go in Mikey, knowing that we got a home field advantage and continue to win there, protect our home field. You personally, um, your first start um, against Coastal, a really tough offense. Um, what are some of the things that you learned off tape or maybe some of the things that you're going to um, be kind of honing in on this, this week against uh, UTSA? Um, every snap, you got to worry about, um, you got to focus on the fundamentals. Um, um, no matter, even if it is a bad play, you come back to the next play, it's new down, new play. Uh, the last play doesn't matter anymore. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Anything else for Calvin, guys? Um, yeah. Just, Calvin, just ask you, what? tell us a little bit about uh, – you know, uh, the role, uh, you, you know, you're facing running plays, you're running, you're facing passing plays. How do you handle, uh, you know, both kind of plays that you got to defend on? Um, Coach Harp's on just uh, making sure we read our keys. Once we read our keys, then uh, at that point, you just react and play ball. Do you feel like you're better at, at, at uh, stopping run, running plays or do you like to uh, run and try and put pressure on in the backfield? Um, I feel like either way, I'm, um, I like both, actually. Uh, I feel that we're one of the top uh, run stopping teams in the nation every year, so we're going to do that for sure. And then uh, playing pass is just next step. Great. We'll look forward to seeing you out there, Mikey, on Saturday. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Ross. Thank, Thank you. you.